going either to Salento or Finlandia we still don't know but we're gonna go do some fun stuff I think I think we really enjoy doing this which is seeing the scenery and just enjoying it on a horse we might be doing that we'll let you know <laughs> How are you? It is Kid Got Your Ticket. And we are here waiting to get into Valle de Cocora. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, we are a couple of expats who sold all our stuff in Florida and now we live right here in South America. My name is Alex. That's my girl Paula. Got my boy in the back. Somewhere around there. Oh, there he goes. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe to this video and today is a long weekend here in Colombia so that's why there's so much traffic right now but we're heading out to Valle del Cocora so we're standing here waiting to get into the Valle of Cocora because it's a small little place that a lot of people go to so we're here on the line waiting to get in and as you can see right there on the window you're seeing all the cars getting out so we're hoping they're all leaving so we can get in but you know what we were doing here? We were actually talking about the meat and why it's so hard. I mean, I'm talking about tough and hard, right? Like, I literally have to beat the meat. <laughs> you gotta beat the meat down here. I gotta beat the meat. So we're gonna go get some solteritas. You guys have never seen them before. I hadn't either until we got here. I'm going with my boy. Quiero tres, por favor. These are solteritas. They're super right. cool. Right there. They fill them up with a bunch of stuff. Tres medio, sí. Sí, señora. Listo. Queso. Queso, sí. A todas. A todas. So now we're going to put on some cheese. Quiere gustar la piña. Ya probó la piña. Para tu Eh, lecherita. Sí, señora. Eh, arequipe. Sí, señora. Arequipe. Yo. So, it was really tough trying to get parking here. This parking lot is we came to get some munchies real quick because it's been a long wait. And after this, I gotta use the bathroom because I gotta pee back. Mani, mani, no. no. Coco, coco, coco. Yo no quiero no. coco. Coco, you want coco? Yo no quiero coco. Eh, coco, 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 coco. Mora, es así. Algo así, ¿no? Es más o menos así. Es algo así. Porque como poco, coco, como poco, coco, compro. Y yo lo digo y soy gago. Crema de leche. Yo llevé uno de estos. Yes, por favor. So I bought one of these last time. It was amazing and I used to eat it. Yo compré uno de esos. Antes de irnos, compré uno. Pero el de café. I love the café one. The coffee one of that? No. Hágase bien bonito porque la están filmando. Es verdad. No, es lo peor porque es de bajo presión, bajo presión. Ahí está su futuro, ahí está su futuro, mira. Ah, es verdad. ¿Quiere que le eche algo más? Check this out. I was thinking about it. Remember, I told you, man, para ir allá a comer una solterita. Mmm, muy guapo. ¿Cuánto le demos? Eh, quince mil. So it's fifteen thousand. Time to be the piper. Pruebas, pruebas. Esto es una maravilla. Guys, we made it after that long traffic. We're eating this deliciousness. It is solteritas. It is junk food, but it's amazing junk food. And we've been. Junk food. Yeah, it's real good junk food. It's junk, but it's food. But it's junk food. The plan is for us to go ahead and go on a little horseback riding because we're really enjoying horseback riding down here since we got to Colombia. It's easy to do, it's accessible. Let's see how well those equestrian lessons are working out for my son. The weather, we have a nice overcast, we shouldn't get burned. Mm -hmm. So that's the good thing. But it is chilly. And my girl decided to show off those sexy shoulders today. All right. 
My son, he's never cold. <laughs> he's not, he's Arctic weather. <laughs> he is never cold. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna enjoy my sorterita right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to score some horses and go for a little ride up these beautiful mountains. Look at these beautiful mountains up there. How is that? Guys, Wait. you only find this in Colorado or in Pereira, Colombia. We're here, it's time to go ahead and get busy. Have something to say, what's up? But we're gonna stand in there, take pictures, and post on Instagram. <laughs> That's right, guys. If you guys wanna see more of this trip or other trips before they actually get posted on YouTube, follow our Instagram page. That's right. Kid so, got your ticket. And you have to subscribe. Remember, hit the button so that you like, can see. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll comment below to only. We will only comment if your comment is awesome. <laughs> if it sucks, I ain't commenting. Jack Diddley Swap. All right, guys, time to eat. I'm Hi. hungry. All right. So I just got the ticket for the actual parking is 10,000 pesos. You can park here all day, but if we eat at the restaurant, uh, they give us a step in there and we get the 10,000 pesos back. But otherwise, it's parking for the whole day, 10,000 pesos. And that's, that's pretty cheap. What's that? Uh, two and a half dollars? Yeah. Two and a half, two and a half dollars. Who's ever heard of that, right? So when we first got down here, what ended up happening was everybody kept telling us there isn't any parking. There were people, cars, people walking down. They would walk down and tell us, hey. discouraging us. Discourage. You know how it is, people. Tur and many people turn back. Many, after coming all the way here. But Why would you go so far and then turn back? But then for some reason, I knew we were going to find parking. And in the first parking spot available, we went ahead. But let's get me hotel yet. <laughs> we found the parking. Now I'm gonna go try to find some horses and go for a little ride. I got my horse riding hat. There, this you got is, his horse riding looking wife behind. Right, right there. Let's score some horses. Oh look at he looks really Colombian. Check him out. <laughs> he looks like a <laughs> he looks like a city slicker Colombian. Let's go for a little ride. Let's see what we can find. Last time we did it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Today my son actually knows how to ride. I hope. A little bit better. I mean, those equestrian classes. The, if they haven't, uh, if he doesn't know how to ride, I'm taking him out. I ain't paying no more money for that. All right. No more money. No more money. That's it. It'll be done. A lot of traffic. Motorcycles everywhere. Police officers getting traffic controlled. What the hell are those people waiting for? The bus, right? No. están esperando toda la gente? Ah, okay, listo. I caught that on camera. All right, so all these people here, what they're doing is that they're waiting for the jeeps to take them back down to the main city, Salento. It gets a little adventure. And how many people do they fit on a jeep, on a jeep heading back down? Maybe 12? Eight in the back and then four on there. So oh wow, eight, four on the thing, that's 12. Four, 14, that's 14. About 14 people yeah. per Jeep. I still haven't gotten used to the altitude. <laughs> the, it's been four months. I'm just kidding. Is and we are walking and talking? So Pereira was really sunny. As you can see in the background, the clouds are touching the mountains. It is colder up here. It is more humid up here, so it rains a lot more. It's time to go ahead and get ourselves on some horses. So, let's go ahead. Yeah, we also have to say something. What's up? What happened? For each view that we get on each video, we will give each viewer a dollar. Listen, don't <laughs> listen to that child. You know what, we'll do a giveaway once we reach a thousand. A thousand iPhone 13s. No, we're not gonna give a thousand iPhone 13s. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's good it today. Guys, we found the horses. Let's see if we can go for a little horseback tour ride. Planchon, Mirador del Condor. Yeah, look. So they have, what is that? Planchon, Peña de la Virgen, the Argentinian, not six Argentina, hours. six hours. Yeah, I don't want to do six hours. Mirador. The Palmas, Mirador del Camino, Mirador del Condor. Keep bringing up the prices as you can see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not a tape on them. Look at all the tape they have because they keep putting on a different price or something. But the price is going up. That's okay. The horse, 
Inflation. Inflation. <laughs> it's called inflation. It, it even hit the horses ranch. Here in Colombia. That's right. Nice. Let's see if we can score some horses. Here we go. Let's do it. Who do we talk to? See the waterfalls. No, we're not doing six hours. Okay. Para ustedes tres tiene un costo de 120. Correcto. Ya el siguiente recorrido pues ya no están aquí, pues porque están cerrados, porque esto está, pues hay mucho, mucho pantano en la parte alta. Tenemos un mirador que es a la parte del fondo y eso le vale 40 por persona. Es un recorrido más o menos de una horita y 20 para ir y volver. Entonces si quieres te explico dónde está, mira. Ajá. Allá podemos ver todo lo que es el propio Valle de Cocora, se alcanza a ver toda la dimensión y tiene un costo de 65 por persona. All right, so there's a couple of rides, one that goes right here, one that goes all the way on top of the mountain. I, we did the farm before, now we want to go all the way up and it has about 65,000 per person. ¿Cómo empezamos? ¿Qué hacemos? Bueno chicos, entonces vamos aquí a la parte, aquí a la aseguradora que antes carga, antes de salir, uh -huh. firman un seguro por si acaso hay alguna caída, algún accidente. All right, we have to sign our life away. Basically, we have to sign now in case there's an accident, right? which if we, that's not going to happen. It's a waiver, that's right. We're going to sign a waiver. Then we're going to go on a little trip all the way up. Arbey, ¿usted con nosotros, Arbey? Sí, señor. Listo, perfecto. Arbey is going to be our tour guide. He's going to take us all the way up the mountain. We're going to go a little bit past what we did last time. It's about an hour and 25 minutes round trip. Paul had a question. What's up, kid? Minus 18 with the helmet on the little light. That means if you're under 18 years old, you have to wear a helmet. Uh, uh, I'm 19 actually. I turned 19 yesterday. You know how to get on. ¿Quién, quién va en este? La señora. La señora. Y la señora allá atrás, por favor. ¿En cuál? En ese caballo allá. Se llama Sultán. ¿Sultán? Ven, help me. Is that it's higher, he's higher than I am. Ay, esto se me arreba la No, no, no. ¿Me seguro? Ahí. Grab our heart. Pull. Pull. Riding these horses right through town. This is kind of town right here. We're gonna be heading all the way that way in a few seconds. I'm really enjoying riding horses. His name is Sultan. Sultan. It's a pretty beautiful view, as you guys can see. My horse seems to be kind of gentle. Yeah, mine seems like she's a little bit of a little bad. Doesn't want to ride. Just moving nice and easy. Ahí está para you. Got my girl back there, got my boy back there, and we're heading out into, I don't know where we're going. That's right, to the viewpoint. All right, here we are, riding this horse. Get the beautiful view back there, having a great old time. It's a... Uh... It's a great time out here. Look at the view where we're at, riding this horse. It's really amazing. The weather today is perfect. My horse, he's doing just fine. So we're riding it up. We're gonna reach this plateau. Here's some sort of plateau, the farm where we're gonna be able to rest for a few minutes. Then we'll carry on all the way up that mountain that you see up there. And we have it, it's a beautiful ride. I'm going kind of fast now. 
knows he is in a smoother surface. Kind of sped up there for a few seconds. Not that much, but a little bit. All right. But can you guys believe that view back there? Come on. That's an amazing view. All right, we made it here to the top of this mountain. I'm gonna show you guys the views in a few seconds. I'm gonna give the horse reins to my boy. He did a good job, horsey. That horse is awesome. His name is Sultan. Sultan, hello. Sultan. It was a great, great ride. He's tired. Está más cansado el pobre. They don't give him a horse. Él no le dan un caballo. Él tiene que, él lo mandan caminando. No creo que es bueno, porque la, la experiencia puede ser buena para todos, ¿no? Sí, lo que pasa es que depende de cómo se van a ahorita si muerto rápido. Oh. Y resulta y pasa que los guías van acá a pie, pues para estar un poco más pendientes. Claro. Porque a veces se puede sentar alguna persona, el guía se, se ocupa mucho con el caballo de él ah. y más la el de la persona. Ya entiendo, ya entiendo. Sí. Entonces hoy subimos rápido. Uy, qué pena. Los caballos fueron los que andaron. All right, so, see how tired he was? <laughs> Poor dude said we kind of came up kind of quick. I couldn't film that much because it's all a steep uphill. It was hard getting up the mountain, but guys, the views that you get out here are just incredible. Look at that. Look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, wait, there's a better view up here. I need to get around these horses. Let's go around. So I'm trying to navigate through all these holes on the Metal. Who no puede pasar, no? He no hace nada, no? No, I don't want to get bit or something. All right. So we made it to the top. He is dead. He's tired. He gets to use. Uh, this is his horse right here. El caballo de él. Estamos agradecidos. We're thankful. Uh, del. Yes, that he brought us up here, but now. Let me show you guys the view, because talking to me, fuck that. What a view! You guys want to see another view? Oh yeah. Her shoes are wrecked from the horse. Because my girl, she can ride, man. Yes. That, that, that horse can ride. She wanted to ride. be in the front. She wanted to. I'm going to go in the front down. Me gusta mucho la vista. Me gusta, me gusta mucho. Me parece muy bonito. Si, no? Si, señor. Pero todavía lo impresiona. Sí, y hay días por la mañana mucho mejor, me, me gusta, me gusta, me parece sí, demasiado sí. hermoso. Huh. So that's the line, you see that road right there, Where, where's the road, right there, there goes that road right there, and that road is where we were stuck in the whole time coming up here, see that, and that's, that's basically town, we got the horses from up there somewhere, right? So he says that in the in the summertime, when it's less cloudy, you can see the snow peaks all the way up there. That's pretty amazing. Right now you can't see them, but it still looks amazing. It still looks great. Look at this. It looks amazing. So he's going to explain to us that all this land right now is 100% private. This is private property what we're on and we have to pay in order, or they pay, we, we pay them, but they pay in order to get through the gate. And then once you're in here, all this you see, everything you see, that's all private land. Ahora, mira, esta, esta finca de la casita de allá, de la, de la, de la carretera hacia allá, uh -huh. esa y esta es una sola, todo lo que se ve allá, y esta es una. ¿No? ¿Que llevan años con ellos o no? Llevan años. ¿Generaciones? Generaciones, realmente son generaciones. Porque la consiguieron cuando aquí no había nada. Cuando aquí no había nada. Pues todavía no hay nada, pero sí hay algo. Esto era zona papera. Aquí lo único que cultivaban era papa. Todo esto aquí para arriba lo que había era papa y papa por todo lado. So he was just telling us. En el pueblo ahora 20 años había casas de 15 millones de pesos. De máximo la mejor casa valía 20 millones de pesos. 
Ahorita la casa más suave vale 150. 150. So back in the days, uh, some of the homes wouldn't pass 15 million pesos. Now, the cheapest one is about 150 million pesos, which is still not bad, about $45,000 maybe, uh, but still. You know, uh, but what he was explaining was he was showing us earlier exactly which farms have which land. But the funny thing was the way he explained it. He explained it as far as you can see, right? He didn't say it reaches up to there. No, he said as whatever you can see, that's their farm. So now the farm that goes from there that covers this whole terrain here, they're asking about $2 million for it. So now you guys know if you guys want to buy a farm up here, better empty out those pockets, bitches. <laughs> so the clouds, you can see the clouds just came in and the clouds are coming in this way. But something else he told us was that this whole region, all, all they would plant was potatoes. It was just pure potatoes. So if you walk into the farm, it's 5,000 pesos. And if you walk in a horse, it's 7,000. So every horse that walks in through there to do the tour that we just finished doing, it's 7,000 pesos. Everybody that walks in, it's 5,000 pesos. You guys can see the clouds, right? It looks pretty cool. Uh, and it's getting going. cold. I don't know if you guys can see, but look how the clouds, the clouds are just coming in through the mine. Like we're really, really high. We're gonna go down now. We're about to get on our horse. That's Rosie, that's Sultan, and that's Martin. And Martin has his leg up because he's re he's resting. He's relaxing. And Dosi's like, oh, back we down. gotta go back down. like a cowboy here right into town. All right, we made it back to the thing. Getting my girl's getting the digits. See, see, right in front of me. She don't give a fuck. It's catching guys' numbers. Listo, que descanse. All right, guys, that was amazing. That was a nice, nice ride. Yo, my horse was out. Yeah, her horse today was fast. My horse started killing me like five times. Hey, John. So let me show you her shoes how they came out that's what you need water boots and we brought the boots i know we had show them. me the the, the the shoes oh look at that a lot of people here today we lots actually went, we actually lots went to of the people highest, highest part of the mountain here that's right yes there's we another, did there's another one that we're going to take you guys on it's a six to seven hour tour and we're going to take you on that one i don't know where that goes who knows who knows we'll, we'll let you know when we'll we find you out you guys find out what's up <laughs> we are now going to go ahead and try to get something to eat because we are hungry. My horse jumped and I flew off. You didn't fly off. You stood on the horse the whole time. What are you talking about? I, I almost flew off though. I couldn't get my, my heat back in time. I'm just holding up the deal. Alright, check this out. Guys, look how packed it is right now. Check this out. Look. We came to this one restaurant here. I want to see. Last time we couldn't go in because it was too packed. But let's see what they have. And I want to sit on couches last time. So let's walk into this restaurant and see what they got. Let's go in. All right, we have entradas. They have ceviche de camarones. They have ceviche de trucha. Tienen chi. What is that? Chicharrones. Chorizo. Dados de queso, dedos de queso, dados de queso. <laughs> I gotta practice my Spanish reading. All right, so we decided to move outside because inside was kind of, and the chair and the table was kind of wobbly, flimsy, flimsy and wobbly. <laughs> it was like this. 
we ordered a a berry juice for her. Raspberry to be exact. Raspberry. In milk. Mm. Pollux ordered a Coca Cola juice. A Coca Cola there you go. juice. Gracias. Con gusto. Oh, oh, sh. Ya le traigo los cubiertos. What do you think about that dish, dude? Uh, it looks pretty good. They don't like to put salt on anything. <laughs> so whenever you go out to eat, either ask for salt or bring a thing of salt with you. I swear to God, you'll see. Food here is very bland. That's why when people come over to our house to eat, they're like, yo, where'd you get that cooker? It's not the cooker, man. It's the way we say we season the food. Chanchitos. Si, por favor. Solo un poco, por favor. No te puede traer sal. Claro que sí. Gracias. Gracias. Es un chanchito. Fried pork. It's called chanchito. Delicious lemon. Lemon here is red. Skin is green. Oh, actually, this is a lime, right? Limes are limes are green. It tastes really good. Si, por favor. Por llamar un patacón. Perfecto. Gracias. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah. This is called hogaito. You guys will like the soup. It's good. Uh, we can just get salt. And now I'm gonna go inside and ask for it. You guys ready to see what needs salt? You gotta go put salt in everything, right? Just gotta, just gotta go and put salt on everything. Everything needs salt. <laughs> salt. Just tastes good though. Just need keep salt. Going. I mean, you think you put enough salt? Put a little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Okay, this is plantain that gets crushed really tight or smashed really tight and then it gets fried thin yeah thin thin right. but like it's thin really pizza yes there you go look look how thin it is yeah. oh, that looks cool so that and we were just talking about how surreal it feels to be here eating in the foothills of the mountains you feel that mountain coldness right a very crisp it's crisp, but we are high up. My son already finished with his fish. Yes, How sir. was that fish? It was actually really good. I have the little piece actually. And this, that fish is called trucha and it comes right here from the mountains. In some lakes here. It's called water know. fish. Mm -hmm. Let's see when our meat comes. We ordered some empanadas. Do you know what empanadas are? We ordered some beef patties. Right? They are beef patties, right? Colombian beef patties or empanadas. And yeah, they are Colombian. Yeah, there you we, go. We yeah. ordered five of them and let's see how good they taste. And we also, also ordered some steak. We told the medium. You know how we do. Who's got the beef? Where's the beef? Right here. <laughs> yeah, it is medium. Looks good. Start to eat. Wait, it might need salt. Let me check. Let me check. No, just good. Did you finish eating? Yes. Why don't you go climb a tree? <laughs> My goodness, I had such a blast. It's really fun here. Getting here is fun. Driving here is fun. Talking to these handsome cats is fun. It's not far. And it's not far. It's probably what, 45 minutes? If that. Yeah? If that. More or less. Yeah. So it's fun. Great time riding horses. I couldn't go as fast as I wanted to. And he was on a mule. He had a mule. I wasn't in no fucking mule, all right? <laughs> I wasn't in no mule. Stop calling my horse a mule. <laughs> oh, donkey. Worse. <laughs> Please call my horse a donkey. Uh, a donkey plus a mule. It wasn't a donkey mule. <laughs> a, a slow, a slow, mule. A slow mule. The only jackass there was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. All right, we made it to the <laughs> city did, of Salento. We didn't go home yet. We did a, we did a side tour. We did a little B tour, and now we're here in the city of Salento. And as you can see, guys, it's freaking packed. Like it is packed. I left my face mask in the car. Same. I did too. Salento. We're here. Ooh, look at that. These hills here in Colombia. I'm still not used to them. We're in search for something. Let's see if we remember how to get there. But I just really love these plazas. We can walk through here now. There is no cars. Just gotta watch out for those cars. For the little car. <laughs> that little car right there. You see that? That is pretty dope. We're trying to find our way around this cute plaza. Beautiful restaurants, people eating <laughs> without salt. Just people eating out outdoors. Yes, nice. Having a great time. Watch out these guys, he's not looking forward. He's not looking forward, look at this guy, look. Look how he drives. Look, he's on his cell phone. He's on his cell phone, riding the car. You know, you know. But beautiful little I love plaza. It yeah, like, you know nice. what? Every time we've came, we've came twice, but it's always, it's always great. It's always fun, it's always nice. It is oh. stuck. But look at this. Tiempo me compré un Rolex 
la plata no es felicidad, pero invierto en forex. Me confundo quien amar a quien mandarle flores. Tener uno, tener más amores. Tenemos hielo, estamos allá. Un doctorado, a ver, los Tony Ayer. Yo no me grande, es la que hay. Lo más que quiero es los saludos de mi madre. All right, guys, so let me show you guys what, I, what we found. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. I'm counting down the days till we fly away. Heading to the sun, only you and me are. Uh, we got a little magic plants, man. My, my man, here in Salento. And we go. Gracias. So, hey guys, what are you guys doing there? We are making sure our investment is protected. Our investment is protected. <laughs> All right. Are ready to go? Time to go home. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us, and if you guys comment, we'll go ahead and comment back. But we just bought ourselves some new girls. They look beautiful. These plants are amazing and very medicinal. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of KGYT. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.